something, girl. Did you hear? No, I did not. That the United States of America, for the first time ever in its history, returned an artifact to the Palestinians that was 3,000 years old and was rightfully theirs. We did something good. Is it good if you waited this long? Better late than never. Did we bash their wife's head in? <laughs> We've done a lot of that in our history, actually. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rank shoots of Corbin. Leave it to Corbin <laughs> to take a beautiful moment and pinpoint something negative about it. Well, if it's about America, uh, there's a lot of negative I could point to. We've done worse than bashing somebody's head in. Ask look the at Native the, Americans! Look at the beautiful thing we just did for Palestine. But we nuked Japan! Well, that's true, though. Uh, do we deserve redemption for killing millions? Anyways, uh, Hitler doesn't reserve it, so... Uh, it, what I'm wow! If you haven't seen our review of uh, the, yeah, the uh, classic, you don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, you need to go see the review of Mulal, 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 mm, the flower the, and the thorn, the, the, the superstar Rajkant. Anyway, anyway, that's part. not what this is. Today we got a new sum from Best Ever Food Review Show. This is what must try before you die. Ten of Indians' best foods. Oh, it's a food video. Uh, yes. Awesome. Uh, I can have my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we love their channel uh, and love Indian food. I'm going to be very hungry after this video. Not me. I brought my breakfast. Here we go. <laughs> Their food's way better than your food. That's, that's 100% right. The winds are roaring. The gods are praising us for our great efforts. This is the moment of truth. Is it good? I really hope so. <laughs> I need an ending to this video. Is the birthplace of Hinduism, Buddhism, yoga, chess, and Gandhi. And zero. This great Asian nation is home to over one billion people. Some and my wife. Languages and some of the oldest cuisines that often influence our Wednesday night takeout decisions. Oh. There are over two thousand named Indian dishes. Oh, that looks good. From oh. Indian to oh. South Indian. Oh. Oh yeah, flaming pond. Mm. Don't worry, on our many best ever India tours, we've sampled the cuisines and made it super easy for you. I can't even believe that I'm in India right now. I'm at a food truck where they're serving beef. Yeah. I'm not dreaming. No. Okay, it looks really good. Here's a list of the top 10 most unique Indian dishes we've come across on our travels. Number 10, Pani Puri. We're in this residential area here in Mumbai. But where? Okay, in Mumbai. Corner, these guys pop up out of nowhere. Our Indian countdown begins with a dish called Pani Puri. And some sage advice, when you see a crowd in Mumbai, you follow it. At the front of the line might be a stall whipping up these mini cracker bowls filled with an explosion of flavor. What is special about this place? The Pani Puri is very tasty. How many do you usually eat? 10 to 15. 10 to 15. My kind of snack. I like that. These crispy dill receptacles are They are very unique. Well, we were in the the 30 range when we did our uh, eating contest, weren't we? Yeah. With trash honey puri. Just trash. Yeah, we had like. If it's like fresh. Puri? You can tell looking at the, the little shell on it. Nice, thin, fresh, thin, fresh, delicious. Oh, Ours tore our mouths apart. It's only 25 cents a pop. But once your tab is open, like me, the limit no longer exists. Maybe I'll stop after 10, or maybe I'll stop when I hate myself. <laughs> maybe I'll stop after 10, or maybe I'll stop after I acquire a deli belly. Okay, I seriously, I've had like eight or nine already. Last one, last one. Mm. Number nine. Beja fry goat kidney. Um, these are not testicles, right? No, not at all. That's kidney. When it comes to Indian food, do you had kidney? Mind it. Just no. Give yourself to try everything once before throwing the first kidney stone. Uh, I mean, nice. I got my lines mixed up. But anyways, Mumbai is riddled with late night street food markets, hosting vendors with their own unique styles and twists on traditional recipes. Oh, that's so good. It's one of those foods that I'm sad I discovered it so late. We found one with an array of the very best triple O's, offals, offcuts, and organs. What animal is this from? Goat. Oh, not goat. This is all the goat yeah. organ section that we found. Nothing these goes to waste. <laughs> these... <laughs> These guys, these guys guarantee they can make any body part taste like Christmas. And we're here to find out. That's a great pickup line. I can make any body part taste like Christmas. Small pieces and saute them with a special blend of seasonings and Indian spices. Ooh, internal organs could taste so good. 
Breaking vegetarian tolly. You've already done this. You said you ate about 15%. So you ate like this much of one. Yes. Want to know the perfect date? You and your shorty getting this massive tolly. <laughs> <laughs> Next on our list is a must-have <laughs> trip to India, specifically designed for you to realize that you're 30 we, had, we had a great Dali. Yes, we did. The one of India. But what sucked was we had just had a huge meal 30 minutes prior. Tell me more about this. The scheduling of <laughs> it was. Uh, you wouldn't want to share it anyways. See, I was not told to schedule before. <laughs> 52 unique vegetarian selections on one giant platter, inclusive of paneer butter masala, cauliflower uh. curry. Oh! Just play the clip. Oh man, that is the right way to make cauliflower. It's spicy. Andrani makes a cauliflower thing that is just. My local co host Sartok taught me the bullet bole for this very moment. When the meal is so good, you can only express it in choreographed dance. Bullet bole? What about bullet bole? Bullet bole? Bullet bole? Bullet bole? Bullet bole? Do you say something? You just say. Speaking of professional dancing, number seven is as incredible as the live entertainment that comes with it. Next up, the belly in New Oh, Hey! Oh, they're gonna dance? Is he yelling at me? No. Okay. Hey! Popular snack made from mashed potatoes, onions, sweet and savory chutneys, pomegranate, peanuts, and sev, all stuffed into a yummy toasted bun. My Tabeli dog's name is Sev. Mumbai, but this Tabeli is special. Making this is a Mumbai vendor that many Hana chefs couldn't hold a candle to when it comes to performative cooking. He whips your serving up while doing his odd version of the robot? Is that the robot? It's, yeah, it's technically dancing. We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? we? Are. Oh, it's happening. He's got the bread. He's <laughs> doing carefully slicing each one. He's not actually that careful. I think he might cut himself at some point. No. Don't think so. The belly. It'll put some pep in your step. That looks delicious. And some skip in your jump. Oh. And I don't even know what that means. India has the world's largest number of vegetarians. But here's the good news. Indians are kind of experts Wait, at what? making meatless food taste like, well, actual food. Seriously. That sounded weird. Unreal. That is so good. Most that's vegetarians. Right. Vegetarian but here's the good news, because that's bad delicious. news. Number six on our list is what I'd like to call the lie that America taught me. Vada Pav? Hamburgers. You would think, what? This place couldn't have hamburgers. It does. This Punjab special has the makings of an American burger. The bun, cheese, tomatoes, onions, sauce, and oh. grease. So, so much grease. But no meat. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen such a beautiful burger in your life without meat? That's that amazing. Positively shocking. Mm. That looks incredible. Oh, buddy. It's so good. I actually uttered these words. This makes me think like, oh, I could eat meat less. While I probably won't reduce my meat intake anytime soon, it is good to know that there is tasty vegetarian food out there. No better than India. The best. Homemade Indian food. Oh, number five? That should be number one. <laughs> After going street food stall after street food stall, nothing is better than a home cooked meal. Right, now, right. So why it should be number one. Final steps making the Palak paneer. Or ever present. In oh, Palak, Palak paneer. Yummy. Nice enough to bring me home to try her mother's cooking. Smile, the stars. I'm like speechless right now. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what she starts cooking early and lets me in on some of her secret recipes. Getting all dolled up, I'm greeted with a fantastic spread of deli favorites. Holly paneer, roti, dal, chawal, dashi pakori, and more. I just realized this is a vegetarian meal. It didn't even dawn on me. Everything's so like hearty and delicious. You can't tell I with Indian food, man. Now, oh, Not wait, at all. There's actually no meat here. That's the beauty of Indian cuisine. You, you have a lot of varieties and veg as well. There's right, you don't food. feel like something's missing. Yeah. The other thing that's amazing is how Number small four, portions are filling. Meat selection in Indian history. I can't even believe that I'm in India right now. I'm at a food truck where they're serving beef. Yeah. I'm not dreaming. No. Okay, yeah. It looks really good. <laughs> states across India strictly prohibit the slaughtering of cows for a number of reasons. Luckily, we're in the mood to be crowned upon. <laughs> My partner in crime for this episode, Jasmine, helps us to track down a food truck in Goa that serves this forbidden meat in a deliciously constructed sandwich. Wow. Which delicious. So good. I remember this video. Bole, bole. Bole, bole. After you check out number three on our list, you will want to throw your stove away and grab a shovel. Oh, yeah. I and cook this. in the ground. I remember this. Yeah. Yep.
This is gonna take a while. We're having underground lamb in Jodhpur. <clears throat> yeah, that looks delicious. Just prepare your hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just prepare your hole. So what's happening here? I'm just gonna moist this a little bit. With the bottom layer of heated embers. So we've got the hot embers coming in. This will be your oven. Take your perfectly seasoned lamb leg, wrap it in roti, aluminum foil, and banana foil. Actually, I'm getting hungry just talking about this. Check it out for yourself. In with the meat wrapped in this soaked gunny sack. He's got kind of a wire handle on here. The embers are heating up that wet sack and now they're gonna cover it on top. I love it when the embers heat up my wet sack. It's finished, unravel the best gift you can give yourself <laughs> and enjoy it. Cheers, cheers. It's stunning. It's very tender. That's it's delicious. There's a ton of spices working together, yeah. but it does nothing shopping. You're right. It's <laughs> not overpowering yeah. at all. Everybody loves good old scrambled eggs, but what if they're from a prehistoric looking bird? Jesus, guys, look at this one. Bro, how do your legs even bend that way? Is that even healthy? Number two on our list, Emu Egg Buji, on a random highway between Mumbai and Pune. The second tallest birds in the world. They're shaggy looking with dark feathers and a serious attitude. Honestly, at the same time, they are majestic and beautiful and also completely terrifying. Their eggs are massive, the perfect size for one really, really hungry man. To get the eggy liquid out, you just have to, um, yeah, like what this guy's doing here. Lots of that. <laughs> yeah. that Why don't you just. That looks nice. It doesn't just Good crack job. like an egg? Guy. Once dispensed, cook the egg up with a delicate balance of seasonings and Indian masala spices. Sir, with the last known address of this dish to the side. It's unreal. There's like a depth of flavor where you just didn't realize that scrambled eggs could be like that. Number one, whole Indian chukka. It's been a fun ride so far, and if you're still with us on this countdown, you're probably super hungry right now. Top unique Indian food brings us to a little settlement with a local YouTube celebrity. Their channel is blowing food channels out of the water. Meet Daddy of nope. Village Food Factory, who agreed to host us for the day and make us his famous mutton chuka. Wow. All these ingredients just get nice and happy together inside. Can I eat it now? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, I was joking. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> the village cooking subgenre on YouTube is huge. Locals, young and old from all over the world, are coming together in small villages to create monetizable and engaging content, usually ending in a massive feast aimed at feeding everyone. How has YouTube changed your life? Yeah. Before you do, nobody respect them like in their village, but now everybody wants to see daddy. Well, today is no different. <laughs> Host, Daddy, starts by slaughtering a whole sheep as a sacrifice for today's lunch. Do we eat the balls? Um, people eat it, but I don't eat it. I don't like it. Let's ask Daddy. Uh, camera. Uh, he said, yeah, we can eat. He makes work of the meat pretty quickly, chopping it into finer pieces, leaving no part to waste. Seasoning in a huge cauldron, and then cooking it down until the angel starts singing. Fatty, all yeah. the marrow is gone from inside now. I it's bet. sucked right out. Indian food is legendary and is part of a well-connected web of aspects that make Indian culture so influential and popular among many others. If you ever get the chance to visit India, feel free to use this list as a guide for your top tier Indian mm. food. The promise not to just stop there. You can hardly go wrong by trying something hardly ordinary and unique. For the takeout heroes, instead of ordering the usual chicken tikka masala with rice, yeah, you something new, it might very well surprise you. Oh, this blend of seasonings is just so delicious. Every part, it's part such a cook, shame that India is not well represented to, here the in their cuisine. This has been the best ever Indian food tour countdown. Until next time, is the mutton good? Yummy! Success! Peace. No, great As usual, video. great video, yeah. And all, everything in it, I would love to try. I know you're probably wondering, because you guys are always inquisitive. It, it, what I have in my bowl is, it's noodles, broccoli, cauliflower, mushroom, tofu, onion, garlic, and some seasonings. And that's about it. It's Absolutely leftovers disgusting. from last night. Now I want Indian food, though. You want some tofu? No. 
I do not. Uh, it's funny though. Every single time, like, because we have, I have a really good Indian restaurant here. That's always, and the reason I, I know it's good is because it's always full of Indians, In, right? Not white, uh-huh. white, not white people. Yeah. <laughs> and it's. I've, have you eaten at the place on Topanga and Sherman Way that's connected with the market? Mm-mm. Oh, it's we we've shopped there, but the the food. A lot of North Indian and Gujarati mm. meals in there. Nice, good stuff. Um, but yeah, the uh, they. Oh yeah, whenever they're a Punjabi, so they're all veg. Um, so anytime we get like something like, uh, it's not butter paneer, but it's something like that. Yeah. Um, so it has, but it has paneer. Mm-hmm. Anybody I ever bring to it that like aren't familiar with Indian cuisine. Um, they think that paneer is tofu. Tofu, always. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's basically yeah. cheese. Yeah, like, which I, I did. I thought paneer was a, a soft tofu it, I mean, before I found out what it really was. If you've never experienced it before, it, that's all you know is like it looks like tofu, and everybody's yeah. like, I don't like tofu. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, which I've never understood. I love every time we do a stir fry, tofu. I use tofu. Hmm. Yeah. Um, it's such a mild, cool, awesome source of protein. Yeah, there's so much... Obviously, we've only been to four cities in India. Yeah. And we were there for very short amounts of time. Um, but there's so much food I would love to be able to try, especially from this list. Yeah. Um, like that burger thing. Look you haven't had any Bengali food yet, have you? Has Andrani cooked anything? Yeah, you? she's cooked stuff and left it before. That was really good. Like okay. Once or twice. Did she do an eggplant thing? I don't know. Okay. I don't remember what it was. Anyway. It was delicious. All thing. you need to know is it's got mustard oil in it. Yeah. But fantastic video. Let us know what other food videos we can react to down below. Just-